Hey there, Brian Hutchison, Global Career Guy. Welcome to episode 49 of my vlog. Today is a big day for me. Uh, I'm sitting in the parking lot at Princeton University where I'm going to be having a meeting with the new chair of public relations for the Asia Pacific Career Development Association before I go to work for the first day of the academic year uh, and really my first day as chair of the Department of Counselor Education. And so I was thinking this morning about my students that I'll be teaching tonight and two classes tomorrow night. And what I'd like to talk about today is why losing isn't a loss. Now that sounds a little strange. Um, how do I want to talk about this? So I want you to think about your life and what your life is about, the purpose of your life. And the reality is, is that while life has wins and losses, it typically isn't about winning and losing. You don't have these points, I'll call them inflection points each day, where there is a clear win or a clear loss. Life is more about gradual progression, uh, putting in the work, uh, consistent effort over time. It's not about single points in times of wins and losses. Now, there are inevitably inflection points, points where you either pass or fail the exam or you uh, either get the business contract that you were striving for or don't get the business contract. Or in my own life recently, I ran for president of NCDA and I did not win the election. I think it's important to remember that losing is not a loss. The pathway of my life and of your life should already be charted if you've done the work. It should already have a groove within which you are satisfied with the way that things are going uh, in your personal life, with your health, with your career, and it's about putting in the daily work to get there in these core areas of life. Now an inflection point, if I understand it correctly, is when there is a path or a curve, or, or when there is a path, it's the point where the path takes a curve. And so a win or a loss will change your life, but it doesn't change the fact that you're on a pathway that you've worked hard to feel good about and to feel satisfied about. Let me give you a personal example. So I got another email today. I think it's up to three or four dozen emails for people uh, responding for the fact that I did not win an election. Now, those that know me well all had something like, uh, I know that this probably doesn't break your stride. I know that you're still swimming in the same direction, but I just wanted you to know that, you know, insert whatever their personal thoughts were. I'm appreciative of all of these messages, but there's another segment from people that don't know me as well, where it was almost like a condolence message. I'm so, oh, it, it didn't have the words, but it had the sense or the feeling of, I'm sorry for your loss. And the reality is, is I don't feel a loss. I'm very clear about the purpose of my life, particularly through my career work. I'm very clear about the outcomes and objectives that I am trying to be a positive influence on. And a lot of those have around with the globalization of career services. A lot of those have to do with social justice for women, for people of color, for, pe for sexual minorities, for people with disability. I'm very aware that I want to be a little bit more of a provocateur and start conversations that I think are needed to have, but might not be happening as much as I wish. Okay? So losing an election is not a loss to that goal. Now, I didn't have an inflection point of the curve bending in a slightly different direction, but still following the same path, just like I'm still on that path today. Again, I want to say I'm thankful to everyone that sent me a note of support uh, after losing an election, but I also think it's important that we have a broader perspective on our lives, the sense of purpose and meaning that we have in our life, and the fact, as Gary Vee says, that we have to eat dirt, that it is about the day in, day out, micro progress, micro setbacks, it's about seeing this life that we have to live through more than it is at any time where there's an inflection point that we might interpret as a win or a loss. So to my students that I start having in class tonight, if there's a project, if there's an exam that feels high stakes, losing isn't a loss. It's part of a journey. 
And so what is the bigger picture? What is the bigger perspective that you have? I find this helpful in working with clients and supervisees and in my consultation. I hope that you find this idea of losing is not a loss helpful to you. And I hope that you can pay it forward to your clients. Signing off for episode 49. Keep watching. We're probably going to really ramp up uh, the content this week as I get back into the swing of my full-time gig in addition to my side gigs. For now, Brian Hutchison signing off. Stay well and keep the conversation going.